Well, today we're at the Big Texan in Amarillo, Texas, yeah. home of the 72 ounce steak, which yep. is free if you can eat it and all the fixings and everything in an hour or less. You got a shot? <laughs> She has trouble finishing a salad most of the time. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know what the big deal is. Everybody has told us we gotta go to the Big Texan, gotta go to the Big Texan. Yeah. So we're at the Big Texan. Yeah. Which seems like a pretty cool place. It's very uh, yeah. conveniently located off the off the highway. It's very touristy, but it's cute. Yeah, there's a hotel attached to it. There is an RV park. Yeah, there's an RV park, so maybe we'll drive through there and check it out. But the, the hotel is really cool. It looks it like is the old so west. It's so cute. <laughs> Um, and so I don't know if anyone in there is doing the challenge right now, but if there is anybody in there, um, maybe they'll let us film a little bit yeah, just to cool. see what a 72 ounce steak looks like with all the stuff Sorry. that you got to eat. Yeah. So um, we're not going to do it, we'll, exactly. but we'll show you what we're going to eat. I don't even know what that's going to be yet. But uh, hey, we're at the Big Texan. That's all that we matters. <laughs> Catching us at our most vulnerable moment. <laughs> so, yeah, we. Yeah, we're done. <laughs> well, we learned some more about the uh, the big Texan yeah. challenge, and we learned more because uh, I asked the waitress. I was just curious, like, can you pick your own sides or how's it work? Standard. Yeah, it's standard. So it's a 72 ounce steak, which is about. I don't even know how to <laughs> tell you. Head. It's about the size of my head, <laughs> and then you have. What else? A loaded baked potato. Yeah. Salad. Okay. Dinner roll and yeah. three shrimp. Well, I, don't I don't know, know what the point of three shrimp is. But well, there's a story or... behind it. Like. Well, that yesterday there was a story. There's a guy who originally ate that much, and and so that became the meal. Um, if you don't succeed, it's seventy-two dollars. Yeah. Which is not bad. Not terrible for that's a lot of food. So, yeah. yeah. So I was thinking like at least a hundred, but seventy-two dollars if you don't make it. Yeah. Uh, there was a couple of guys in there trying while we were in there. <laughs> yeah. They were on their last couple of minutes. They were and, on the uh, struggle bus. They were on the struggle bus, <laughs> but uh, they were good sports. They let me film them a little bit. Yeah. I talked to them about you know how difficult the challenge was, and uh, they definitely solidified <laughs> the fact that it is not for the weak of heart. <laughs> no. Um, the, uh, they didn't make it. No, they did not. But it was fun to, to actually see somebody doing it. Yeah. While we were there. So that was yeah, that was cool. cool. And then um, we had David come and sing to us. Yes. Which is very cool. With, uh, a, with an original song. Yeah, there's a, a guy who goes around and he'll sing songs for you at your yeah. request. So I requested some, some Johnny Cash. He sang some Johnny Cash. Yeah. And then he <laughs> offered to sing an original song. And so I was a little bummed at first because I was like, well, we're not going to be able to put any of this music on YouTube because yeah. copyright stuff. But... Um, so David was like, "All right, well, I'll sing you an original that I wrote and give it, and give you permission to put hasn't it released on your yet channel." Either. Yeah, it hasn't released, yeah. and uh, so here is the original song, mm -hmm. David. Ghost of Pancho Villa rides a desert wind tonight. You can feel his presence in the absence of the light. Thousand cries of 
David Waddle, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> and thank you for your service and for our freedom. Thank you. We appreciate it. We made it to the Cadillac Ranch. Yes. Busy today. It is very busy today. <laughs> um, it's uh, exactly like you see on YouTube or <laughs> Facebook or whatever. It's 10 Cadillacs says, yeah. jammed into the ground. <laughs> <laughs> but you have to see it. Yeah, so uh, it's not very far from where we are at the RV park. It's no. about 15 minute drive out here. Um, so we will show you people's art that is on the car currently because it changes every day, obviously. And then we're going to make a little art of our All own. Right. Everybody, it's funny, they self spray paint here at, yeah. the, at the little uh, mobile van thing. But the aroma. Oh, spray yeah. paint is all you could get high just standing out here. as soon as you pull off the side of the road and it, get out of the truck the it's like fumes of spray paint. <laughs> it's yeah. crazy well right, right now we're upwind so yeah. we can't really smell it but if you go down by the road yeah. you can definitely smell it but yeah. some of these um some of these things on these cars are very artistic yeah and very well done um i wonder how thick the paint is oh it's thick it's thick, oh. it's thick. I gotta do some research. I don't even know how long these cars have been out here. I knew, but I could not tell you right now. Tell us if you knew, because we don't know. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna put right. some Wayward Wag graffiti up on the cars. Yes. We'll show you what we come up with. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Which one is really it? And it looks like to me. Today we're at the uh, Palo Duro <laughs> <laughs> Canyon State Park. I was just looking on the map. I'm like, I'm gonna remember. I'm gonna remember. <laughs> Didn't remember. Didn't remember. Palo Duro Canyon State Park. Yeah. Just about a half an hour southeast of Amarillo, mm -hmm. Texas, and starting to get the feel of the west. Of the west. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we're just barely sticking our toe in the in the water here yeah. for the west but it feels more like west than we've ever felt before i think i saw it said it's like it's the second largest canyon because grand canyon well obviously the, the grand is, canyon yeah the, so this is like a miniature version of the grand canyon it's pretty impressive though yeah so far from what we've seen oh my god it's um there's here. tons of hiking trails out here we're gonna do hiking trails yeah we couldn't bring our bikes we were going to but <laughs> we had technical difficulties yeah Dang. We'll, we'll remedy that on the way home though. yeah we'll tell you about that later when we talk about the hits <laughs> and stuff but it's really cool out here lots of trails uh how far is the trail we're going today it is 1.2 miles they do have a place to eat here, which we just fueled up and ate some hot yes, dogs and some French fries. Oh, yeah. They were very good. They French were fries. Very they were like good. McDonald's fries. They were like McDonald's fries. <laughs> it was crazy. But um, we're going to go on the Sunflower Trail? No. The which Rojo one? Grande. Rojo Grande. We have to take one <laughs> with the with the harder name. I can remember Sunflower. Rojo. Red. red Rojo Grande. Grande. Big Red. Big Red. <laughs> <laughs> we're going on a Big Red Trail. Yeah. 
we will uh we're only gonna be able to show you like a just a, a smidge of this park yeah uh, it's ginormous yeah. you could come out here and hike you know every day for weeks and not see, and everything. Not see everything but um yeah. we'll show you what we can mm -hmm. we're gonna go on a little baby hike yeah so we brought our water in our backpack <laughs> water for you yeah she's like a camel she can go for days without water <laughs> I need like four jugs. On the hike with the Brits, I drank one bottle of water. I drank like three. Right. You, yeah, I gave you my my second bottle. And I was still thirsty, <laughs> dying. This is not going to be a brazen Brits hike. No, this is actually marked as an easy. Yeah. So. Well, the Brits told us theirs was easy too, <laughs> but theirs was a little more yeah. on the moderate to difficult. I'll put an overlay of easy. <laughs> for you so you can see what the Brits think no, this is won't easy. be anything like that hike today's just a nice casual it's a walk easy really <laughs> walk down to the river yeah. yeah okay okay let's go okay <laughs> Leslie's upset there's no cell reception here yeah she wants to update her status on Facebook well I want to put that we're here and go for a hike and it's like yeah later we'll tell you when you can do it later Cause there ain't crap here. It's 2021. I should be able to go in a canyon and have reception. First world problems, folks. <laughs> First world problems. <laughs> We'll show it to it's you. It's a gorgeous day to do this. No, we won't show it to you. We'll just look at it and enjoy it. We're not going to show it to you. No, we'll show it to you. <laughs> Is it cactuses or cacti? Cacti. I'm gonna say cactuses. I know you are. Lots of cactuses out here. <laughs> cacti doesn't sound natural. It doesn't roll off the doesn't, tongue. Yeah. There's lots of cacti out here. That sounds a little like uppity and bougie. <laughs> Careful, sweetie, don't fall in the cacti. <laughs> it would hurt. These things are like it would hurt. A good two, three inch long needles. That yeah. Would not feel very well. That would suck. There's been a horse fly that's been harassing Leslie Haunting. for almost the whole oh my God. hike so far. He's keeping buzzing around. And then she'll shoo him off and he comes to me. <laughs> so I'm like, just take one for the team, man. Whoa. Just take the horse fly. Yeah. He likes you best. <laughs> and uh, so just take him back. But um, I guess Leslie thought it'd be a good idea since we're going hiking today to go ahead and lotion up and oh. <laughs> put on her perfume and all that crap. So then she wonders why she gets attacked by critters. It's unscented lotion. Unscented. Doesn't matter if it's unscented lotion or not. But my, my deodorant apple and white oh, tea. Yeah, so. deodorant is apple and white tea. So there you go. Yeah, so horses like apples, horse flies like horses. You smell like apples, so can't be too pissed off. Well, I didn't want to have to smell my funk, so I got a really nice, pretty scent of deodorant. Well, that was nice of you to do. Um, you should definitely bring water yeah. out here. Even in the little uh, map that they give you, it says make sure you have plenty of water mm -hmm. make sure you have a plan all that stuff because and we was talking about the lighthouse trail because that's the most common trail that people travel it's almost three miles one way it goes out to this lighthouse uh rock, rock formation mm -hmm. so it's not a real lighthouse but it looks like a lighthouse that's because of the rocks so it's like one of the most popular thing but in the thing it says that's where most of their heat 
injuries and deaths deaths happen <laughs> deaths happen here so um don't die if you're gonna go hiking um bring water i mean you I probably should wear sunscreen too we did not but no there's a little shade out here they do have the um the little um <gasps> ow horse fly bit me you just got bit didn't you? yeah yeah um they have little sunscreen um it's kind of like a lotion dispenser but it's sunscreen and they have those out here but i wouldn't rely on that because well a you don't know how long that lotion's been in there <laughs> um and b like it's probably all hot see so squirt it's like wow oh, anyway we're getting ready this morning and so i got my backpack i want to bring the camera bag and the and the cooler bag so got some waters to put in there and then i put my cameras inside the bag with a couple extra batteries and sd card and stuff and whoa that would have been awesome shut up <laughs> Freaking fly! <laughs> Stop following me! God! <laughs> oh, hang on. So, Leslie's like, uh, I have a frame that attaches to this, like a chair. So it's like a chair cooler thing. Leslie's like, are you gonna leave the frame on? I was like, yeah, I gotta, maybe, might need a seat to sit somewhere or something. So I need to sit on the ground. Or a rock. Or There's a rock or something. Lots of rocks here. So you can see, let me show you all our seating options. <laughs> Stop yourself. Show you all of our seating <laughs> options here. We can sit on the side of the mountain. Oh, we can sit in the grass or into the creek. Um, hey, look, a rock. Oh, a rock. there's a rock right, right there. Rock right you there. need a break. Or my favorite, you can sit in the cacti. The cacti. <laughs> <laughs> well, we made it halfway. Well, we made it out to the end of the trail. We gotta make it back. Halfway. Yeah. So we'll show you all the same stuff you've already seen backwards. I'm kidding. We're not going to do that. It's all the same stuff. But if there's anything cool in this direction that we didn't notice in the other direction, yeah. we will show you. But other than that, same trail. Same trail. Got hydrated. Got some water in me. Yeah. Um, I couldn't sit because I didn't have a seat. I didn't have a seat to sit on. And I really wanted to bring a seat, but I was talked out of bringing a seat. So hey, I, nobody I put this. a gun to your head and said, take the seat off. Like, you could have said, I'm going to want the seat. But it's one of those, like, you know how, like, you get dressed and you come out and she goes, <laughs> you're not wearing that, are you? <laughs> no. I was just seeing what it looked like on. I, I and so I come out with the thing and she goes, you're not leaving the chair on it, are you? Of course not. <laughs> you think I'm an idiot? Absolutely <laughs> taking the chair off. <laughs> I'm just saying, if you would have been like, no, I know I'm going to need the seat, so I want the seat, I'd have been like, cool, fine. I just didn't think you planned to sit, therefore you didn't want the <laughs> bar hitting you in the back of your butt. In my mind, I was like, I really want the seat. <laughs> hey, you should have... But I was guilty. Use your words. Use I was guilty words. into you not the chair, bring the chair. bringing <laughs> the chair. I just made a comment. <laughs> it was bullying i feel like <gasps> it was not bullying <laughs> i said you're not leaving the chair here you didn't say it like I that did. <laughs> I you're did. like you're not leaving the thing on there are you but i did no <laughs> i definitely didn't say it like that That's well I like we do at the end of all our videos we're gonna honor fallen hero if you want to get involved with us helping vets out on the road everything you need to know is in the description of the video mm -hmm. down there Appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye. Bye.